Happy Information Wednesday, Shalise McQueen here. For my teaser video, I wanna dissect exactly the difference between a home warranty company and your insurance company, who does what, what they don't do, because I get a lot of questions all the time as why does my policy not cover X, Y, and Z, or why did my warranty not cover X, Y, and Z? And I thought it'd be really important to do a quick little overview and breakdown so you know what to expect from each, and you can discover then if you decide a home warranty is the best fit for you or you can go without it. I think y'all are pretty well informed on what an insurance policy is. We won't go into that, but what does a home warranty do? Well, it does act in essence almost like an insurance policy, except for legally it's definitely not insurance. And the intent behind a home warranty is to provide repair, replacement, or service of said items included on your contract. Just like anything else, the contract varies depending on what service provider you're using and, of course, which plan that you have selected. Uh, some appliances may or may not be included. Your pool equipment may or may not be included, things like that. But as a rule of thumb, the home warranty really does encompass anything inside your home, including any major built-in components like HVAC, electrical, plumbing, etc., and of course, those appliances. So who benefits from an, a home warranty company or home warranty policy? Well, someone that doesn't maybe have the reserves on hand to fix items like an HVAC system. Um, also, people that have patience, because let me tell you, I have a very much love more hate relationship with home warranty companies. They are great for small ticket items that are non-emergency. When it comes to an emergency issues, more than likely you're probably going to be without AC for weeks on end because it is a hierarchy. It's a game and everyone has to go through and get their piece of the pie and it is absolutely maddening. So if you can do without the home warranty, I would always recommend that, but I know that you know new HVAC system is almost $11,000 these days, and that is a lot of money that we don't necessarily have on hand to pay out of pocket. But just know, once again, that home warranty companies definitely do not cover everything. No, it, they are very strict to their contract, just like as I was saying, the policy very much is restrictive to what is included on that policy. Um, in the event that you had a appliance malfunction and there is any secondary damage, such as water, that would not be covered under the home warranty. I've had many hot water tanks blow in my in my past, and the water damage that happens from that event never is covered. So drywall replacement, any kind of dry out, things like that, flooring is definitely not covered by your home warranty and that and that and that is where your insurance company would kick in but again you have that thing called the deductible and your deductible does not always make sense to file a claim depending on what the level is and what you're in essence saving out of pocket so on the flip side with the insurance policy regarding that same appliance that maybe had a malfunction and caused water damage obviously the insurance policy would pick up the water damage to replace that drywall that flooring etc but the actual appliance itself to repair would not be included under your homeowner's policy or the replacement of that item would not be included under that insurance policy unless that appliance was destroyed by fire theft you know wind hail water so unless it falls under those perils or listed on your homeowner's policy you're not going to have coverage to replace that said item once again your deductible does apply so that's where the home warranty and the insurance company really differ the biggest thing really is when it comes to plumbing um we have plumbing issues all the time in our homes you know pipes burst in the walls slab leaks all of those things which again the actual damage of said event is definitely taken care of by your insurance policy but the replacement or repair of that actual as I was saying, the actual repair or replacement of the plumbing itself does not have any coverage under your insurance policy. There are endorsements you can add that will provide a small allowance to help with those items, but for the most part, it really is cut and dry. There's no coverage for it. So that's where your insurance company and your home warranty company would work hand in hand. As I said earlier, I have lots of experience with home warranty companies. I know them and how they operate like the back of my hand. And I have a love hate hate relationship with them. Like I said, they definitely have a time and place um, and value, but they you have to be patient and you have to understand the game that is played with these home warranty companies. Um, I do offer home warranty through American Home Shield. They probably are they're a little bit on the higher end when it comes to warranty contracts, but they are going to be the most responsive, have the most service providers, and of course their contracts cover a lot more than even a standard contract or as premium contract with other companies. So I definitely recommend over them over everybody else. 
But again, it all depends on what makes sense for you. But it's a great time to have a conversation with your insurance agent and talk about some of the endorsements that you may be missing on your homeowner's policy that will help out, such as equipment breakdown, service line, limited plumbing, service or sewer sewer and drain, etc. So again, I'm here to be a resource for you. Feel free to give me a call at 602-525-5665 or email me at cmcqueen at farmersagent.com. Remember to ask yourself, are you protected? We'll see you next week.